Tyler, the idea is that if there are any past traumas or issues that parents haven't addressed in themselves still present, then there is the risk of some of that affecting their children, even if they don't intend for it to happen. During multi-systemic therapy sessions with families at Permia Care, program manager Chandra Wigginton says it's not uncommon for them to find out parents may sometimes have unresolved personal traumas or issues that could be contributing to behavioral problems in their children. Parents often carry things forward from their childhood or adolescence and they may not realize they're bringing it with them. And so when they're interacting with their kids and maybe they see their kids doing something that kind of triggers a memory for them, then we begin to identify that there's something we want to address with those parents. She says that parents who could use the help are afraid of being seen as weak by their children, but in her experience, she's seen a different story. A, a child or adolescent who is struggling with something, when they believe and they know that their parent has come through that thing, um, that hardship, that trauma, whatever, it actually makes them more appealing to their kids as a, a resource and a way to be supported. And so parents might think, hey, I've got to be strong, you know, never let them see you cry, never let them see you struggle. But in reality, our kids need to see that we're human because then they can feel more open to share with us what they're really feeling and going through. Sometimes there might not be anything in the parents' past, but rather something more recent that makes the parents develop issues. But whether it's in the past or present, Wigginson says that it's important for parents to make sure their own mental health is kept in check so that they can better support their children with theirs. But if you have gone through a difficult breakup, a divorce, maybe you've lost a job, maybe you lost a loved one to COVID, chances are excellent. At least one or two conversations with a mental health professional would be beneficial just to make sure that you have the right coping skills on board. The simplest way to explain it, and it's, it's really simplistic, if a parent doesn't know how to tie their shoes, can they teach their kid to tie his shoes? If you would like to learn more about the kind of services offered for families and individuals from Permia Care, you can visit their website or call them to find out more.